for a little bit and chat with you um, about why I started YouTube and um, a few things about me. I mean, I mean, Alex is nursery because he doesn't sleep here. He still sleeps in our bedroom. So, and the lighting in this room is perfect. So, okay, of course, now when I wanna record the video, someone decided to cut a tree. Okay, why I started YouTube? I've been watching YouTube for so many years now. And the first vlog I've ever watched was Sakon and Jolie's. And uh, I remember they were in uh, Sorrento with their first baby, Emilia. They were by the pool, Anna and Emilia were by the pool and they were wearing a pink uh, swimming suit. They were wearing, they were wearing a matching um, swimming suit with polka dots or something. Anyways. So I've, I've been watching them since then for so long and I've always wanted to have a family of my own and every time I would watch them I would be like oh, I can't wait to have this family one day, I can't wait to have a baby one day and uh, yeah so um, another uh, vlogger that I watch consistently are Zoella and uh, I'm sure you know them because they're famous. I don't, I'm not sure if I can mention them here. I guess so, I don't know. I, there are so many things I need to learn about YouTube. And uh, so Zoella and her boyfriend uh, Alfie, pointless vlog vlog, something like that. Yeah, so I, I, I think it's amazing to have these videos and look back and see uh, your baby, your family, how they uh, change over time and that's why I wanted to start YouTube and um, watching Sakona Jolies for so long they always um, brighten my day and if a any of my videos can brighten anyone's day out there then I'm happy, you know and uh, some people might say okay but make the video just keep it for yourself why you have to post it on YouTube but to me, I need to be committed to something. It's like a job. You know you have a job, you need to go every day to your job and do your whatever you have to do there. If not, you're gonna be fired. Like you need to commit to what you, your job is. But if I don't commit to, let's say, making videos every day or every other day, then I'm not gonna do it. For myself I'll be like oh it's okay maybe I'll do it tomorrow maybe I'll take the camera uh, next week or maybe I'll make a video who knows I'm gonna keep postponing and I'm never gonna do it maybe I'm gonna delay my uh, who knows taking videos of my baby or and I think it's nice to doc document your life and then have this and look back and I know I'm gonna look one day and hopefully I'm gonna be happy that I started YouTube and I'm not gonna regret it. And um, my baby is gonna be happy looking back at these videos and be like, oh, I'm glad my mom did this and I have all these memories of our family and yes, hopefully that's gonna work. And um, but it's hard. I f the, uh, the start, I find it so hard. And I looked at some of YouTubers, the first videos were not perfect. And uh, now they have millions of subscribers, and I don't want millions, but um, I just want someone, uh, I want to know that someone out there is watching and they get anything from my videos. and. Um, I don't have too many friends, so I can be like, oh, go on YouTube and watch my videos and subscribe, blah, blah, blah. I can count the number of friends I have. And since I left Romania, I kind of lost contact with most of them. And here in the US, I have very few friends. Maybe two of them that I talk maybe every other day or every other week, but otherwise, yeah. So I'm not going to go beg anyone to watch my videos if you like it then I'm more than happy to keep uh, making videos and um, yeah, but I need 
I need to know that someone is watching and um, yeah so please subscribe if you like it and give it a thumbs up and if you don't like it you don't have to subscribe you don't have to watch it I'm not gonna beg anyone to watch my videos if they don't like it or if they don't like my face who knows <laughs> yeah and um, I hope there's no sound in the background from this uh, people who are cutting a tree and it's hard I find it hard I, I've only made two videos and uh, and I posted the same day I vlogged and I find it so hard because um, I'm a single mom I mean I have a husband but he's not here uh, he's uh, working and I'm by myself I'm with Alex uh, all the time and it's hard to take care of him cook something clean and play with him and to run errands or and then uh, make time to take a video and then editing and I find it so hard but I'm gonna try I'm gonna try commit to this because that's why I started YouTube and um, another reason is I'm extremely shy and um, I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel for so long, but because I'm so shy, I'm always afraid people might say something mean and I'll take it very personal and uh, or maybe nobody's gonna watch or uh, I'm gonna say something wrong because my English is not perfect, like I was born in Romania, I know my English is not perfect and some people might not understand what I'm saying and that's one reason I was always afraid to start YouTube. But and sometimes I cannot find my words and I might say a word wrong or I'm not gonna say the right word or the f whatever, you know. And um, I could do it in Romanian but then I live in the US and most of the people speak English so I, yeah, I'm sure it's better if you do it in English than in Romanian. I think, yeah. So yeah, I have so many ideas, I want to make so many videos, but I don't know what people would like to watch because I don't see any comments yet. I, I used to be a flight attendant and I've been through so many places. If anyone is interested about my journey as a flight attendant, I used to live in um, Abu Dhabi for five years and a half before I moved to US. And um, that was uh, part of that was one part of my life that I really enjoyed and I regret not having too many memories about uh, being a flight attendant because if you don't know, when you fly for so long, I think it's proven, um, you, you don't remember some stuff, you don't remember some things, I don't know, I think it's because of flying so much and the pressure in the airplane, I'm not sure, I'm not exactly sure, I don't know how to explain it, but uh, before becoming a flight attendant, I could remember anything, I was so, I had such a um, good brain, a <laughs> good memory, and after flying for five years and a half, I feel like sometimes I cannot remember things, and that's another thing I started YouTube, because in case I don't remember something, I can look back at my video and just say, ah, okay, that's, that's what happened, or, you know, and I wish I um, documented my journey as a flight attendant so I can look back, you know, because that was that part was such a happy part of my life. And that's uh, when I met my husband and uh, a lot of things, a lot of good things happened. And um, yeah, I don't know, if you're interested to know anything about my life, about anything, I don't know, just let me know in the comments because there's no comments yet and please subscribe, give it a thumbs up like everybody says, I have to say that at the end of every video because <laughs> people might not um, remember Okay, I need to go do some things before we go to the doctor